Hi everyone, Jesse with Hawkridge here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Convert Entities feature to create 3D sketches from model edges. So you can go from a solid model like this one right to a 3D sketch like this one. All right, let's get started. Let's say you wanted to create this weldment profile here. The first thing you're going to need to do is create this 3D sketch. A little added bonus, if you plan on taking the weldments exam or CSWE exam anytime soon, this is going to be super helpful, so you're going to want to pay attention. Now, 3D sketching can be a little time consuming, but I could model this as a solid model really quickly, so I'm going to take advantage of that fact. Now here I'm starting a new sketch on my top plane. I'll add some dimensions to match what we saw in that drawing earlier, and then I'll extrude it upwards at 10 inches. So I'm going to use the draft tool here to recreate those angled faces. And when you're using draft to match drawing dimensions, make sure you're putting in the right value. So I see on that front view, the two faces on the right are angled at 70 degrees. I need to subtract that from 90 and input a value of 20 degrees here. I like to turn my preview on so I can make sure my pull direction is correct. It's not, so I'm gonna change that direction and accept that command. All that's left to do is add one more draft feature to match this left view here. See those faces are angled at 55 degrees. So I'll put input a value of 35. Make sure that pull direction is correct with my preview. And finally accept that command. And now at this point, I've created my finished solid model. Now that my model's done, the next thing to do is start a new 3D sketch. I'll change my display to wireframe, and then I'm going to use my selection filter to filter just for model edges. Once I have all these edges selected, I'll use the convert entities command to convert them all into sketch entities. And now I've created my 3D sketch. I'll change my display back, get off my selection filter, and then exit the sketch. Now just good housekeeping, I like to use the delete key body command to remove that solid body. And I'm done. If I need to change any dimensions, I can click that first boss extrude feature. If I need to change any of those angled face dimensions, I can select either one of those draft features for my design tree as well. So that does it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more content like this and leave a comment on what you want to see next.